is, um, as you can see, a narrow boat, um, classed as a narrow boat. They come in all lengths and not sizes, but lengths, any rate. Um, this is on the smaller side, it's 27 feet, and they got maximum size is 72 feet because that's the only size that will go through a lock, or the maximum size that will go through a lock. Um, this is 27 feet long, it's 6 feet 11 and 3 quarter inches wide, the beam, and the draft is about 2 foot 3. Made of steel by a company called Oxley Marine in 1992. Um, the history, I'm not sure initially, I think she was owned by two owners prior to my mother-in-law buying her, and this was three years ago, and she bought her up in Gloucester. And she bought it because she's South African and comes and stays in this country to visit for about six months at a time and wanting somewhere uh, to stay on her own. So she thought, well, rather nice to be on a boat, a bit unusual for a, a lady of her age. <laughs> so she bought the boat and was absolutely delighted with it. And she used to come over for six months at a time and busy herself with doing all sorts of improvements and painting and doing this, that and the other with the boat and thoroughly enjoyed herself. Didn't do a lot of cruising in it, but uh, <laughs> more of a houseboat than anything else. Um, but she is a lovely little boat, very dry, very cosy, very warm, um, and I think she's fantastic. The accommodation, as you can see at the moment, is, is set up for one person, i.e. my mother-in-law, but when we first bought her, um, it was set up with two bunks in the, in the fore part of the boat, either side, and um, the bottom of one of the bunks could be taken out and stretched or placed between the two bunks to make a double bed. So initially she had two single berths or one double berth, so which was which was quite handy for guests or for a couple living on the boat for short periods of time. Whereas my mother-in-law lived on her own, she decided to make the space uh, on one side of the boat, so she dismantled one of the berths. Um, did away with that, put a table and chairs this side so that she could uh, have somewhere to eat and it was handy for her. And she was quite happy to have the single berth on the other side. So we've got the single berth in the, in the front part of the boat at the moment. Just behind that we've got a wood-burning stove which gets <laughs> really quite hot, in fact too hot at times. Um, you need to open all the windows. Uh, but and they're difficult, difficult to control. They're either on or they're off. You know, you, you, there are certain slight adjustments you can make, but but very cosy. And then she's got all the the, the, the sort of major things that you would require to live with. Uh, she's got a fridge and a freezer, full size. Um, she's got an oven and a microwave, a gas hob, and another electric oven. Uh, hot water is supplied by a geezer, gas-fired geezer at the back there. And then there's a separate compartment on the starboard side of the boat which contains the toilet facilities and the washing facilities. Um, and it's all set up also to have, she didn't have a shower, but the, it's all set up to have a shower unit in there. So basically you've got everything you require for prolonged living, if you like. Um, perfect. She also had a, a canopy put over the back, um, a pram hood. And uh, that is fantastic addition because even in the winter when the sun's shining, it gets so warm up there and it's lovely just sitting up at the top there, um, feeling warm in the middle of winter. But of course in the summer it's too hot so you have to take it down or open all the sides. I mean you could sail this boat across the channel given the right weather. So yeah, I mean I never have and I don't think I would uh, because the weather can change so quickly. But you'd be quite capable of going around the island. Uh, if the weather stayed the same for a period of time. Um, and as I say, you can actually sail a bathtub across the channel if you wanted to and you had, the, you had the right weather conditions. But, I mean, having said that, you could quite easily go down to Portsmouth Harbour and sail around Portsmouth Harbour. 